Good day, grade 4 learners. Kumusta kayo? Tayo ngayon ay nasa module 3, Kinds of Triangles and Quadrilaterals. Samahan niyo ako sa ating video para sa lesson 1, Identifying and Describing Triangles According to Sides and Angles. Hello, my dear learners. You have learned already about describing and illustrating different angles such as right angle, acute angle, and obtuse angle. In this module, you will learn how to identify and describe triangles and quadrilaterals. A triangle is a polygon bounded by three line segments and are grouped according to the length of their sides or by the sizes of the angles. A quadrilateral can be defined as a close, two-dimensional shapes which has four straight sides. At the end of the lesson, you should be able to for lesson 1, identify and describe triangles according to sides and angles. For lesson 2, identify and describe the different kinds of quadrilaterals, square, rectangle, parallelogram, trapezoid, and rhombus. Please answer the exercises carefully. Write your answer in your mathematics notebook. Number 1. Identify the following triangles according to their angles. Identify the following triangles according to their sides. Number 3, identify the following quadrilaterals. This is lesson 1 of module 3, identifying and describing triangles according to sides and angles. At this time, you will be working with another module. Try to read and understand the instructions carefully. Tell whether each kind of angle is right, acute, or obtuse. Write your answers in your mathematics notebook. IBN May designed their artwork in this way. They divided art paper by putting lines from corner to side and from side to corner until different sizes of triangles appear. How many small triangles do you see in their artwork? Are the sides and angles of each triangle equal? If your answer is not equal, very good. Look around you. Do you see things that are shaped triangle? Can you name some? You're amazing! Do you know that a triangle is one of the base shapes of geometry? It is a polygon with three vertices and three sides which are straight line segments. Triangles can be classified according to sides and angles. Let's talk about it in detail for you to understand the lesson better. A triangle is formed by three segments that join three non-collinear points or the points which do not lie on the same straight line. Each segment is called a side of the triangle and the point where two sides meet is called a vertex. A triangle is named by writing the vertices in any order. The triangle above is triangle ABC. The segments are the sides of the triangle 
denoted by AB, BC, and CA in the example. These three segments or sides join at the vertices form the angles of the triangle denoted as angle A, angle B, and angle C. Let us now discuss the different characteristics of triangles one by one. Triangles can be classified according to their angles. Right angle. A right triangle has a right angle which measures 90 degrees. Triangle ABC is a right triangle. Acute triangle. An acute triangle has three acute angles. It's measuring less than 90 degrees. Triangle DEF is an acute triangle. Obtuse triangle. An obtuse triangle has an obtuse angle which measures more than 90 degrees. Triangle GHI is an obtuse triangle. Triangles can be classified according to their sides. Equilateral triangle. An equilateral triangle has three equal sides or all sides are equal. Triangle ABC is an equilateral triangle. Isosceles triangle. An isosceles triangle has two equal sides. A triangle in which at least two sides have equal measure. Triangle DEF is an isosceles triangle. Escalene triangle. A escalene triangle has two equal sides or with all three sides of different measures. Triangle GHI is a escalene triangle. Answer the following carefully. Write your answer on your mathematics notebook. Classify the triangles by their sides. Equilateral, isosceles, escalene. Letter A. Letter B. Letter C. Letter D. Letter E. Identify each triangle based on angles. Check the box whether acute, obtuse, or right. Letter A. Letter B. And try to answer letter C, D, and E. Let us check. Supply the missing words or numbers to complete the statement. Choose your answer inside the box. Write your answer in your mathematics notebook. A triangle can be classified according to their angles. A right triangle has a right angle which measures 90 degrees. An acute triangle has blank acute angles. Each measuring blank 90 degrees. An obtuse triangle has an obtuse angle which measures 90 degrees. Triangles can be classified according to their angles. An equilateral triangle has blank equal sides. An isosceles triangle has Blank equal sides. A escalene triangle has blank equal sides. Write your answer in your notebook. Identify each triangle based on sides. Equilateral, isosceles, or escalene. Letter A. Letter B. Then answer letter C, D, and E. 
Identify its triangle based on angles. Acute, obtuse, or right. Letter A. Letter B. Try to answer letter C. D and E. Use using old calendar, cut out different triangles and paste them in your notebook. Classify them according to sides and angles. Marami salamat sa inyong pananood. Hanggang sa susunod, hanggang sa muli. Paalam, huwag kalimutan mag-subscribe, like, comment, and share.